Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Oh, you getting it in. Somebody's getting it for you. What's good, people? <laughs> Woo, what's good, people? It is the day of another day. Of another week, haul. Friday. Anyway, they've been saying, what's good, people? Oh, I know you're saying, you just did one video, then you're doing another one. But if it ended the right way, and if it ended the right way for a reason, I want to talk to you about something. And it's a little different than, you know, um, well, it's not different because I've talked about it to you before, you know, and the thing about it is that I told you about the super that lives in my building, right? Okay. Well, I, I, I knew the super was, okay, I knew the super was to have hot water, so I called them up. I was like, listen, there's no hot water in the building. So it was like, well, I got, let me come up there. I was like, you know, what do you need to come up here, you know, to see hot water? You know, you just go in the basement, the, press the ball or the reset button, and let the, you know, the water um, heat up and send back up to the building. Well, I need to come up there. I said, okay. So when it comes to being everything, I put on my big sweatpants like this and, um, sweatshirt, zipped everything up, put my hat on, took my hair, twisted in the bun, took my hat on, and I'm basically covered. I, it's nothing to be seen. Zero. You can't figure out how big I am. You can't see how small. You can't see. So he comes inside stuff, and I'm sitting up there looking at him, you know. And he was like, you know, how you doing? I said, I'm okay. He said, I was worried about this. Don't come out here. I said, listen, you don't have to knock on my door. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. You don't need to knock on my door. So he was like, well, you know, I just want to check up on you. I said, you're doing too much. Now, the thing about it is it's flattering to some people because some people get that, oh, my God, he's, he's living for me. I'm not the one who, you know, lives in that type of thing because I'm not. And I don't want to say I hate men because I don't hate men. And I have to make sure I put this out there. I do not hate men. I hate men's behavior when it comes down to me. I have to start justifying that because when I say I hate men, that means every man think I hate them and it's not true. You know, I hate men's behavior when it comes towards me. That being said, so he decided yesterday, you know, he's been talking with the guys downstairs, the, the gay guys. Um, and if I offended you too motherfucking bad, but he was talking to the downstairs and they was doing this about me and they must have took him and pumped him up, pumped him up. He's like, oh my goodness, that's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. So, yesterday he decided to take a chance and make a move. So he made his move on me. So, you know, it, and, and to me, you know, he's an older man. Probably about 70. <laughs> And, you know, even though I got mad, I don't want to kill him. You know what I mean? Like, because my rage is bad, you know. And I know if I would hit him. Well, anyway, let me just let you know the story. <laughs> so, anyway, that being said. Oh, I decided... You know, he finished I'm sitting there like this, he's fixing it, and I'm like this. Because, you know, when somebody inside your house, don't you be like this? What you, you know, what you doing? So, fixing everything, so he gets to walk past me, and he, he like, tries to rub up against me, and I push him. So, when I was like, yo, so he's like, grab me, he pinches my titties. Pinch my titties. Remind you. Like I said before, I don't dress like this. Listen, I don't dress like this. This is only for home. This is it. I, don't, I, I bought it because, you know, back in the day, I used to want a boyfriend and I try to impress God. I'm over that. I don't do that no more. So anyway, he pinched my TV. And, you know, by me always thinking, you know, you're an older guy, so I have to give him that respect. So I thought. <laughs> He pinched my titty before I knew it. And I have to blame it on by me being the person I, you know, I once was as far as being gay. Because being gay, you know, you always get attacked. So, I talked to my girls. I said, what should I do, Doris? My daughter told me. 
Mommy, get him. Mommy, get him. So I said, you know what? When he did it, I, before I knew it, I grabbed him by the back of his neck, took him and threw him into the fucking hallway. But you know, I, I look. Because <laughs> I want to see if a bitch wants to say she going to jail. You know, and the sad part about it, that you'd be like, well, maybe you should be going to. But see, the thing about it with, that's why it comes down to the rape case, rape case and stuff like that. A lot of times people don't want to tell because somewhere along the line, it's going to end up being your fault. And the sad part of it, I just took him and I, before I knew it, I had to grab him by his neck and I just yanked him into the fucking hall. I said, don't do it, don't. But by his reaction, he knew he fucked it because he was like this. And the only thing I could think of was, yes, mother's still guarding me. <laughs> I'm a church woman. I'm from the Fort Lauderdale of Jesus Christ. I don't do that kind of stuff to no old man. That's probably an old pastor. <laughs> well, Mr. Pastor, sup, Superintendent, you got a testimony telling people in the church. Somebody done grab that ass up and threw you against the wall. I'm not... Anyway. I don't know how you feel about this. Do you feel as though that's... I talked to someone else and said that's an assault. You know, but when you become like me, it, it becomes so common. And it's not even uncommon no more. You know, and they're like, oh, you're another angry black woman, stuff like that. They call the females. Because guys disrespect you to the fullest. Do you know if you don't speak to a guy, he will hit you with no problem? You know, and I talk to my friends, they say, well, they know what you are. They, I don't even listen to that no more. Because that talk right there will get you guilt. Anyway. I have anger issues, and I know that, you know that. I'm a work in progress. <laughs> I just know it's supposed to progress. <laughs> anyway, let me stop. Um, have a safe weekend. Um, and I want to know how you feel about this. Do that be the right thing? Well, I know, listen, I don't, care, I don't even care about that. Another thing I want to talk about real quick. When I give you my email and stuff, and I say I want to talk to you in case you know you feel sad and stuff like that, and you know, in case you want somebody to talk to, do not email me talking about what I need to do with myself and what I need to do with me. Because I'm going to tell you something right about now. The dislike button is about to go up one more, one more people. The dislike button is about to go up one more. I done told you. I done told you. I'm just trying to be there for you. Can a bitch try to go to heaven? Just tell me. Can a bitch try to do the right thing and go to heaven? Every time I try to do something nice for you, ugh. It gets snapped in my face. It gets snapped in my face. And I'm going to tell you right now, that's in 2015, 2016, that's not going down no more. Anyway, all I was trying to do is something nice to be there for you. You know, when you sad and depressed, oh I, oh, I need to do this, oh, I need bitch, I don't need to do nothing but block your fucking ass. I'm a church woman. Fucking dare you come for me, you freaks. Anyway, that being said, I wonder how you feel about this. <laughs> anyway, I want to say hello to my dogs. Yeah. I want to say hello to my kids. <laughs> I want to say hello to new people. Boom. I want to say hello to old people. Bam. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. What you do to you. I want you to do the best way that you can. And nobody likes it.